Alrighty, here we go with episode 471. You know where we are, and you know where we're going. Three, two, one. I think they, yes, they are showing the ice. Okay. And that's the break in the ice on the right hand side. Gotcha. I like that a lot. I, I was, it, it was unclear the other times I saw that. Because I wasn't really paying attention to the surface that, the, you know, that they were on. This whole, like, being ice, by the way. They said it's already been 90 minutes. How long does it take a warm ocean to get rid of ice floating on top of it? It is magic ice, but I don't know. I don't think they have much longer before it just starts. Plus, it's the, the ice is taking a lot of structural damage. I don't think it's, we have much time if, for the ice to remain. But right now, it makes a pretty good battlefield. There wouldn't have been enough room for everybody to fight if, the, if it was just water, right? <laughs> they got a lot of them, man. He's everywhere. Any more than one Kuma is a problem, right? They keep coming back to this island in particular. I guess it's just a location design they've already used, right? So it's a good way to show the man on the street reaction. Yeah, it's kind of weird, ain't it? <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> the dragons, or a dinosaur is pissed. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it is big news. It's that, that's some gospel shit, which means good news, but it's not good news, it's just big news. You think there's a religious motivation? People could talk about these holding the Bible. I'm, I'm saying Bible can mean anything. It doesn't necessarily mean a Christian Bible with Christianity, right? There's something called a show Bible that showrunners use when they're, they're making a TV show, right? This show has a show Bible. So Bible doesn't necessarily mean Christianity, but what if it does, though? Would there be a Christian where he sacrificed himself? Then you go, because he did that. He willingly did that, it seems like. He walked into his own death. So that feels like it could have a religious motive, right? Possibly. Yeah, eh, it don't matter. Until they advance, we don't care. This dude cracks me up. Snidely whip ass, snidely whiplash, looking ass. Right. Exactly. Right. Not good. Exactly. Yep. That's that was a trap. Exactly. Whitebeard's still a step ahead. It's a good plan. Both sides are really thinking. This dick. <laughs> In other words, yes, it's okay. <laughs> like that camera move going all the way around him. Let's get fancy with it. Well, shit. Damn, how many of them are there? At least a dozen, right? If not more. Because there's a the front row, but then there's another row immediately behind them. They're like those rows of archers. Uh, I wouldn't be gloating yet, dude. Yeah, as I suspected. That's a damn problem. You need somebody like Mihawk, but he's on the other side, right? You need somebody who can slash. Cut these bitches up. Jesus. Wrecked. Yeah. 
I admire his gumption, but you know, they kind of put him out on an island there by sending him to himself. You know, he went out there by himself, nobody backed him up. Shit, that's like 30. Shit. So they're doing mouths and hands. Man. Jesus Christ. The world's going to have a lot fewer pirates no matter what happens. You can't replenish pirates the way you can Marines. Shit. They're not even hesitating, man. Jesus. Holy shit. Yeah, they don't care. They're playing a numbers game. They can win the war of attrition. Yeah, get in the game, old man. How about you do it too? Oh, shit. Wrecking crew. Ha! <laughs> He's the most... I love the Phoenix guy, man. He's my new favorite character. My favorite new character, I should say. He's not my new favorite character. You know, Straw Hat crew or them, but like he's my favorite new character. Maybe your Phoenix power can do something against these assholes. Shit. Huh. Not good. Can somebody, you need to be able to penetrate that, I assume it's like some kind of maybe magically reinforced steel of some sort. Yeah, there they go. That's one way you can, you know, change the battle immediately is just melt the ice, right? You have a bunch of people in the middle of here on this ice. You, you just suddenly, you just melt it. You have a lava boy. Lava boy could definitely do that. <laughs> you should have known there's a possibility. This dude's nice with it, man. <laughs> I like his attitude. I'm going to wreck you. <laughs> He's like the sword of the morning, right? Have some roses. Or, I guess, just regular flowers, right? Get those flowers out of my face. I don't want to smell good. Ha! Man, you just have, like, random energy beams being reflected all over the damn place. Ha! He has a wicked cool look. So does he. He's, he's got a pretty good look, too. Oh, he does different kinds of flowers. Okay. This is again is reminding me of uh, Attack on Titan. Not for the first time this show has done that. I don't think bullets are going to work. Or, you know, any derivation of that, like, you know, cannonballs, whatever. Well, shit. Don't cry, cry for me. I'm already dead. Yeah, exactly. You're losing the PR war with this, man. Shit. They cut the feed. Oh, there's different transponders. This is probably the buggy feed. You had this in World War II where you had a, like a really good admiral against a really good admiral in the Pacific, the war in the Pacific. And typically what it would come down to is luck. Situational luck, like, you know, I find your fleet before you find mine. But nobody was a dumbass on either side, right? So in this case, it could be, you know, just something like Luffy is a wild card, right? Nobody's expecting this. Anybody he takes out shouldn't have happened. 
<laughs> get out of my face. That's right. T take that. Shit. Now what? Oh, it's light, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good catch, man. Man, I hate this dude so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We do need to hurry. He's a good motivational speaker, Jimby. <laughs> yeah. In other words, don't bitch out now. <laughs> Not that Luffy ever would. But, you know, he... Oh, shit. Really? Oh, damn. What's up? Who is that? <laughs> I don't think I know this person. <laughs> Get moving, man. <laughs> it's another random badass from Whitebeard's crew. Oh, these are all the commanders, okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's one hell of a crew. That's that's a pretty good squad right there. You sarcastic smug bitch. Ooh, that's kind of tough. That's the way I'm taking it. Maybe it's just, you know, it's just slow talking. But everything just comes across. Like, he's just so effing smug, right? Sarcastic. Ooh, I might be in danger. You know, F you. That's right, shoot those bats. This dude. I hate him in a different way. <laughs> he's funny. Everybody has such a unique look, man. Hundreds of characters, everyone with a unique and interesting look. Keep talking shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's obvious. I have my own agenda. I have opinions. <laughs> this is a fight I want to see, man. Don't back up now. Well, you getting tired? No. What, you afraid? What are you talking about? Ha! <laughs> hey, man. I'm going to have to upgrade her score. She's kicking ass. <laughs> I guess that's what they're saying, because they're probably going to clear the ice, right? So that's why he's saying put a hold on the fight. She's a really good minion. I like her a lot. <laughs> you may want to get off the ice here, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't want to kill Ace until they get the video. That's what they're waiting for. I've been wondering why not just kill him. <laughs> oh, the snail. Look at him. He's, he's put upon. <laughs> he's like frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Look at they got a whole production crew here, man. There we go. That's right. We had time for makeup. They got his nose sparkling. Excellent. What is your plan? Yeah, hey man, he's doing a reaction video. He's reacting to the fight live. <laughs> oh shit, he's coming out. This is coming out party. <laughs> Buggy the Clown, don't mess around. <laughs> what?
We ain't never heard of you in your life. <laughs> really? Incompetent. Incompetent. My God. <laughs> They're turning this into a clown show. <laughs> it's about the PR, baby. The PR. So they they have to have the the physical snail to cut the feed. They can't cut it remotely with like a control room. There is no take two. This is live, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> really good. We just redo the whole thing, huh? We saw it, man. <laughs> I want to see him blow a gasket. I'm good with that. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. I'm awesome. <laughs> you big dummy. <laughs> I take back every bad thing I've ever said about Buggy. He is awesome. But he wasn't awesome then, which is why I said it then. But now he is, right? Sometimes you need character growth before I like you. <laughs> Man, these people getting smoked. Yeah. They're, they're, it's like the rumbling, man. You know, there's only so many places you can go. They're coming as a united wave. I like having a random monkey on my back. Shit. So you plan to, you know, put your old ass in action at any point in this fight. I know you're up there strategizing and shit, but man... You need to start wrecking some people. This is going to become a point when it won't make a difference. Everybody, all the good people, your good people will be gone and it'll be too late. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was somebody challenging him. Shit. Yeah, he really doesn't. He knew he had a couple tricks up his bag. I love that dude's voice, man. He's got that lower register. Is he going to do something? I keep feeling betrayer energy with this dude. I don't know, man. You may want to get away from me with that sword. He would do it for any one of his crew. That's the thing. That's that's why they will go to hell for you. Shit. He is going to betray him. Did you stab him? What is happening here? He did, didn't he? He betrayed him. Shit. I was just getting a weird energy from that dude, man. Shit. Ha! <laughs> 
Well, that's a show-stopping number. Jesus Christ. I don't think he's dead. But, man, if he is dead, that's going to be anticlimactic as hell, which is not bad writing. You know, anticlimaxes are a part of writing. But, you know, it just shows it, what I've been saying, like, for a while now. Whitebeard needs to get in the fray, man. Like, you're the most powerful person. Are you afraid you're going to get out there, get cornered and killed, and then the battle's over? Well, standing up here, even if you hadn't been betrayed and stabbed. Like, you know, standing up here, like, you know, what are you doing? Like, you're not helping. If everybody, all your men get wiped out, then they can, all the rest of the forces arrayed against you can gang up on you and there's nothing you can do. But leading the attack, there's a lot you can do because you have backup. You have other people that can keep you from, like, getting too much ganged up on. You can be out there, you know, laying waste and you're just sitting here. For 90 minutes, you're just sitting on your old ass, right? So, I mean, he's done a couple things, but typically just to defend himself. And he's strategizing, which is an important component. Like, for instance, if he hadn't been up there earlier, they would have been, you know, trapped. Because he saw what was coming. He knew, he knew that there was some kind of trick bag happening. So he sent his men to deal with something. That was necessary. But there comes a point in time when the strategy is over and you have to get down to the tactics, which feels like that was about 10 episodes ago. So he's just standing there. I mean, he's a, he's of no use to anybody if he's just going to stand on the ship. So I don't know how much this is going to change the course of the battle. 